girl, what are you doing? because something has been wrong with my microphone. I don't know if y'all notice when the video is playing, it's like a clicking sound. That I hear. So, what's that? The lighting is terrible, but I forgot that the day went bad and I meant mean to put the camera on, but I had it. Anyway, happy Saturday, hope you're doing well. Yeah, gotta go, but um, I will see you tomorrow, okay? to go in the bathroom and do my makeup and I'll be back bum, bum, bum. why when you do makeup you gotta always mess it up now I didn't went in here and I did my makeup and for some reason I was I was gathering my makeup to see what I'm gonna take with me out of town this weekend so I can have less makeup as possible and I'm sat here and put highlight under my eyes I was trying to use this one palette and you see my under eyes look really lighter. And that's because I put highlighter, a shimmer powder by accident under my eyes. Great job, Shanita, great job. Came to show you the makeup before I wipe my lip off because I forgot I had to go to the store real quick and I gotta wear a mask. And so, I'm about to wipe off my lip, but I love this. Lip, oh, she cute. This lip is, it's, it's um, a lip line, like an a, like orange brick kind of orangey liner with Juvia's Place lipstick called Muted. It's like a muted nude, it's awesome. And I put a, a luster glass gloss on top from MAC. I don't even know the name of the gloss. But it's so pretty. Girl, what are you doing? We don't look bad, but it feel like, it feel like it do, but anyway. I might be overthinking. But yeah, so I gotta go pick up my daughter. It's almost two o'clock already. And then the day about to get busy, busy, busy. Oh, I also want to tell you guys about something. So I'm always discovering new things, right? I'm always discovering something. So I found a website that works similar to like Patreon, but it's called buymeacoffee.com. And it was just so cute. And so I went to it, I made me a profile, and now you have the opportunity. If you just like, you know, Shanita, I rock with you, girl. Like, I rock with you. I want to support you any kind of way. I want to buy you a cup of coffee. I'm down. Let's get coffee. And I have also a membership level, so I have the lilac level, the grape level, and the fuchsia level. Just go to buymecoffee.com forward slash Shanita Johnson and I will put the link somewhere here and you'll be able to see it. But I already explained on Facebook like how the process goes, but if you buy me coffee, we're gonna have coffee together over Zoom and just chit chat. And I'm excited about it, it's fun, because as a creator, content creator, an entrepreneur, you know, things ain't just necessarily fall out the sky yet. They're not falling out the sky just yet. You know, and, and that's probably a good thing. Just check out the link, buymecoffee.com forward slash Shanita Johnson with the C. And yeah. Bye. So happy Tuesday. Welcome back. I thought I'd film really quickly since I kind of been, not kind of, since I've been rushing, filming, 
just because so much been going on and this week is fairly busy because I'll be out of town this weekend uh, for the mastermind event happening so I'll be flying out Friday but yesterday was such a good day and then things start happening right distractions as they always do come so first I found out that my um so my family my dad and brother was in a car accident last night and it was like about one or something in the morning and I'm sleeping and my, my phone going off and it was just, you know, but thank God that they're okay and all is well. Then I found out that my cholesterol levels are borderline and it instantly it was like, okay, Shanita, you got to get it together. You cannot be teetering and allow food to control you. You have been given this vessel which you occupy and you got to take care of it and so for the last couple I was not even a month the last the last actually last couple of years I had been feeling like I want to transition from the the diet that I, I've been accustomed to however I found it that it was tiring or just too much trying to do everything at one time and then making everything separate from like me and my family. So about a year or so, about a year and change ago, I did transition over to almond milk and like vegan butter and that's it. And I did like for my 33rd birthday or 32nd, I went on a complete vegan diet for the whole month of my birthday. And I enjoyed it because I discovered so many new things. So t when I got the results back today and the doctor told me that I need to go on a low fat diet and exercise, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to just commit to it because once you commit it, it takes discipline. And I have, I have like three vegan different cookbooks and recipes and I have the resources and I have like just so much and I know what I've been needing to do but now I have to do it because my life is more important than Papa's. It's more important than <laughs> steak tacos I would get every week almost and it's more important and I'm not going to allow food to be the culprit. I know people say oh well you're going to die anyway. Yeah. However, I also had like I always had low energy and then for me when I was thinking about changing my diet I had began getting more into animals I do not know why but I I watch a lot of documentaries on animals and you know where I live at I, I, I look at animals all day through my binoculars and I see how they live and how they they take care of their children they not their children but they they take care of their young and all that. And it started making me think about how we do the same and how they have that, we have that similarity. And so for me, I began, I began feeling that it was, you know, ethically wrong for me to continue to eat so that an animal can be killed so that I can eat, you know? And then some people say, oh, well, plants are living you know, people gonna come from all different angles. But at the end of the day, is I'm talking about me, and I, I got to think about me and my family. My husband has had two heart attacks. Most people don't survive one. Do you hear me? And so I have to do better. I cannot... I, I The same way that I went out on faith and quit my job to pursue entrepreneurship, and I've been head in this whole almost year, I gotta be the same way about my health. And wealth is health, right? What's the point of getting the, the, the level of this lifestyle and everything, you can't enjoy it. Because at the end of the day, money can't buy, it can't buy you a new life as far as the insides completely. It can't slow down the time you post to be here, time you're not. No matter how much Botox you use, how much discoveries, at the end of the day, they have not figured out how to stop death. And until then, nothing's gonna change that. 
So I've been like writing down things like replacements. I've been using this book I have. I got this this vegan book I bought about almost a year and a half ago. It's called Being Vegan-ish. And I love it because it's colorful and it has things in there for teenagers. It has it breaks it down into uh, the the different staples, the different things you can replace, what's considered um, not using animal products, all that kind of stuff. And then I have Being Vegan is Easy, which is a a, um, a vegan book, uh, which talking about how being vegan is easy. And he has some recipes in there. And I just got a, I got resources, you know. And so now it's time for me at 34 to get in control of myself, right? We cannot control anything else in life. We don't control our children. We don't control the weather. But what we can control is what we do. And so I'm going to be approaching a new season in my life. 30. Okay, my camera died. But I'm approaching a new season in my life. I'll be 35. And I can't even believe it. But I have to start doing things because I have to accommodate my body. So, like, for me, it's, all, it's been like, I've always been able to eat what I want and not gain weight, you know, in my 20s. And then, boom, 30s hit, and then I have my son. Like, everything began to change. So, it's no longer I can eat what I want and not gain weight. So, now, going into 35, like, I have to just, I got to get together. So, that's where I'm at. Yeah. And I got my hair, if you can see, my hair braided, because you know when these come out, I'm going to have some curly, curly, curly locks, if you can see that. But yeah, let me go. I will see you soon. Have a great Tuesday, and be thankful. Good morning, good morning. Well, actually, no. It's actually 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Tell me some good morning. It is not morning time. Anyway. What is, what's to it? What's to it? What's to it? Anyway, it's winning Wednesday. <laughs> Running in real quick. See how you doing? All is well. My head was so itchy. I was going to take these out, but I'm going to hold on one more day. Because it's worth it. It's worth it. The curls are worth it. Okay? The curls are worth it. Gotta keep telling myself that. <laughs> Vlog pretty short this week, but hey. Hi, hi. Anyway, I'm about to do my little press on nails. Listen, I wore salon or went to the salon for years. And I don't like that commitment, right? I don't like that after two weeks. Gotta go back and I just, I wanna change up when I want to. So I wear press-ons. And the one I'm going to be wearing are that Impress color. This color is called Sandbox. You know, it's pretty, um, hey, pretty neutral color. I also can go with some longer nails, but decided not to. So tomorrow's Thursday. Gotta make sure I'm Finish pack. I hate, I'm not gonna say I hate, but when you gotta go somewhere and you gotta pack makeup, and even though you know all the steps to your, your makeup routine, like think about it right now, know all the steps, but you always feel like you missing something. I just, uh, let me go. And anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow, and then Friday and Saturday and Sunday, but those videos going to probably be different, but whatever, anyway. Let me go. Let me go. I'm talking too much. Bye. Of the morning. Oh. It's Thursday. The 13th. Got to finish packing. It's about 8.45. You see, I got my nails on. As promised, let me go. I hope your day is beginning on a positive note. I can't wait for you to listen to the podcast that comes on Monday. Um, you should be subscribed to the podcast. Influence yourself first. 
you know, unless you discover in the show for the first time today, then you should already be subscribed to the podcast on your favorite platform. But if you're not, make sure you do. But I got a lot to do, so let me get up off here, get my day started, and make the most out of the next four or five hours. And I will see you. I might check my can later. Yeah, I might check my can later. I'll see you very soon.